Hi everyone, it's Jackie and I am coming at you guys with a quick tutorial on how to do your hair. Right now I had just braided it so um, yeah it looks kind of crazy but um, yeah everybody always loves when I do my hair like this. It's like a I don't want to say loose curls, but I do it with the flat iron, so it's super easy. I just do, I just curl my hair like this now instead of using the curling iron because, I don't know, I just really like my flat iron. I got it like five years ago, no, more than five years, like seven years ago before I went to um, Texas. Before, yeah, I treated myself. Oh my gosh, it's not hot. Oh, I hate that. You know how they have these little like voltage buttons? So I guess I had accidentally pressed it and it wasn't going. Anyways, I've been trying to make a video forever because for Christmas, my sister got me this Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream by, you know, Manny MUA. He's a YouTuber and he has his own line that um, he named Lunar Beauty. And when I saw this palette, I was like, I need to have it. But I never thought my sister would get it for me. It's so pretty. It has the moon and it's like, you know, um, it's not flat. So you can feel all the different things. And it's Strawberry Dream. It's so pretty. Let's see. This one looks like my cup of tea. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be wearing it all the time. Yeah, they're just so pretty. I mean, first of all, pink. The packaging is pink, so that's totally me, you know. I was supposed to do a makeup look with this, you know, but um, I really don't have that much time. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I know that sounds so fake, but trust me, the formula, at least for that one, is amazing. I haven't swatched that. Wow. You can feel it. You can feel that it's so creamy. I don't know how much this costs. I know it's like on the pricier. Ooh. On the pricier side of things, but so worth it so worth it oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it ah I'm so happy I'm so happy I get to like test it out now oh my gosh it's amazing it's amazing my favorite Christmas gift yeah so I just wanted to show you guys that I mean I want to do a tutorial on it but like I said I don't really have time right now and I'm kind of like already ready I just really need to get my hair situation down because I don't want to go anywhere with this hair like this so first of all you part it I, I'm so bad just bear with me you part it and you take a strand of hair and like I just always like want to get it pretty straight so I can work with it and then I just start flipping it like that and then pull it through and then you have a curl yeah it's kind of hard to tell right now because my hair is all wavy but let's do another one and you guys you guys will get a better feel for it yeah, my hair is super tangly, so don't mind that. I need to go get a trim because I obviously dye my hair and it's so dead and um, tangly. Yeah, so just like that, and you just keep going. Oh. 
It doesn't take long. It takes like just a few, not few minutes, but maybe like 30 minutes, I would say. I don't know. I haven't actually ever like timed myself. People always ask me like, how long does it take to get ready? And I'm like, honestly, I feel like not that long because first of all, I give myself plenty of time to get ready in the morning. That's why I wake up early. And because um, I don't see it as a tedious thing to do. Like, oh, I have to get ready. Like to me, it's kind of always fun. It's like my therapy. I get my cup of coffee. Um, I like watch YouTube videos while I get ready. Listen to music. So, I don't know. It's fun to me. Only when I have like a, a certain, like, I don't know, say like I have to go to a party or something and it's later in the day. For some reason, I can't allocate my time well once like the day has already started. Like if you tell me in the morning, um, there's like a brunch thing you have to go to. I can allocate my time from the time that I wake up. But say there's a party like at 6 p.m. Then it's harder for me to like do everything else in my day. And then like say, okay, by 4 p.m. You have to start getting ready. Like that kind of thing. I don't know why. It's just how my brain works. So you just go like that. See, on this side, it's going to end up looking a little different, but doesn't really matter like some strands look different some strands strands look the same as the other side so it doesn't really yeah see it's like super simple Anyways, how's everybody's new year? Today is like day 10 of the new year and it honestly feels like it's like been so much longer. <laughs> Today was like I think the first full week of work of the year. I mean, today was the last day of the first full week. And honestly, it wasn't bad. But today, towards the end, I was like really over it already. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go home because I'm going to snap at somebody, you know? I've been trying to be way more positive this year. And honestly, so far, I'm succeeding. I've gotten pretty, like, irked at people. But I just, I haven't exploded at anyone. Just trying to take it easy, trying to figure out my next move. Figure out what I want 2020 to look like, you know? Um, I know that I really want to save money this year though. And so far I'm succeeding, even with Christmas, I put my foot down and I was and I told myself, no, I'm not going to go crazy with everyone's gifts. Like, it's not even about that. Honestly, for me, it's not about that. I wanted to do a what I got for Christmas this year, but I've got, I got so many amazing things. And it's so, like, um, so much later than Christmas already. So I'm like, uh, I don't know how to gather everything. And, like, a lot of people got me snacks and stuff, and I ate them. <laughs> I know, that sounds crazy. I mean, it doesn't sound crazy. Obviously, you eat snacks, but it sounds pretty bad that I didn't get to do my video. Sad. But, um... It's not about gifts for me, honestly. I've reached that time in my in my life where I'm like, it honestly isn't. I Now I understand my parents. Growing up, my parents were like, so whatever about gifts. And uh, now I understand. They really didn't care about gifts. Like, it's not it's not a front. They honestly don't care about gifts because I honestly don't care. I honestly rather not stress out, not have my family stressed out about getting my, me gifts. Like, if it's going to be stressful for you, 
don't give me a gift and I 100% believe it I'm not gonna feel fat and it's not it's not that deep you know but um yeah I had a good Christmas it was fun I got to see my cousins and my cousins daughters and son and I got to see my goddaughters they are amazing my goddaughter actually my oldest goddaughter actually turned 10 on Chris on New Year's Eve and I literally had a moment of like what <laughs> I have a 10 year old goddaughter which, like, no tea, no shade on anybody that has, like, 10-year-olds or older kids. Like, whatever. But, honestly, I'm so happy that I don't. <laughs> because I just can't. I can't. I don't know. I can definitely imagine it because her mom and me, we went to high school together. So, I'll, like, that could be my life. Like, literally, it could be my life. And, um, so I can imagine it, but the thing is, like, I literally don't want it. Like, I don't want it, and I'm glad I, I, it's not my life. She is, like, so cute. I wish I could adopt her, like, but I wouldn't want to be her mom, you know? I'd want to be, like, her older sister, like, Lilo and Stitch, you know? Um, I can imagine having, like, a two, like a, a two year old. Like, yeah, like a toddler. I can imagine having me a kid, like, right now. And that's fine. Doesn't mean I don't want to have kids. I just don't want a 10 year old right now. And, like, I don't. So, congrats to Jackie. I don't. <laughs> so, um, shout out to all the moms that have 10 year olds and above, though. Like, damn. And this makes me feel, I don't know, makes me, it gives me anxiety, kind of, like, she's gonna be 18 in, like, eight years, and you know what's gonna, you know where I'm gonna be at in eight years? Uh, not so different, like, I feel like when you're a kid and you're growing up, your life changes so drastically. Like, in eight years, her life's going to be completely different than where, than where she's at right now, right? Because she's 10 right now, and in eight years, she's going to be 18. So, at 18, you're going to college, and, like, your life is truly beginning. But in eight years for me, <laughs> like, it's the whole question of where do you see yourself in 10 years, right? Well, 10 years ago, I was a senior in high school. And I definitely had to ask myself that question or answer that question because a lot of people asked it. And I always said, like, I want to be obviously living on my own. And I forgot what I said. I know that's a given, living on my own, which it happened. I live on my own, been living on my own for like seven years. So completed that one pretty fast <laughs> into my 20s. And yeah, all I can say is when I look back as a high school senior, I thought life was going to be different, obviously. I've already like talked to you guys about that. But, um, I'm pretty sure I thought I would have kids by now. Maybe I said that 10 years ago. I for sure didn't think that I was going to hit 30 and not have kids. But that's what it's going to be looking like. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I used to think 30 was so old. And now I'm like, nah, man. I'm still a baby. <laughs> but in 10 years. Uh, let's ask that question. It'll be cool to document it. In 10 years from now, I do see myself having kids. A kid. 
one, uno. Maybe more, but I for sure won't be birthing them. I'll adopt like, I don't know, I'll foster or something. Like I hope I'm, my, okay, I don't believe that in 10 years I'll be in this position, but my dream, and they say you should always, you know, dream, whatever you gotta dream. My dream is that one day I'm in the position to foster kids or to adopt a kid, which you have to be very well off for that. And in the area where I live, like I would need to have a home for that. And that is one of my goals. I want to have a home in 10 years. Um, whether that be like a condo, a townhouse, something that I own myself. Um, that's, that's something that I really want in 10 years to have accomplished, which is a big thing where I'm from. Like a house don't cost no sack of potatoes up in here. <laughs> like, um, the homes where I live are like half a million dollars. The least, the minimum, the least. Yeah. Another thing I want to go back to school and not necessarily for a degree, but just to um, polish up my English. I was really good at English when I was um, in school, even in college. And I feel because of like the world we live in, people don't really take English that seriously. Like I get emails that are so dumb and I send dumb emails too because because it's just like I'm in that environment. So like people talk really improper talk. People write really improper. Improper. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. See? I need to go take an English class. And I think it would just help with everything. How to articulate um, what I want to say. Um, Maybe write a, like, start a blog or something. Put my thoughts together for, like, the next generations of my family. Because um, sometimes I look at my diary and I'm like, what was I trying to say? Like, my goal, my short-term goal for my diary or, like, things that I write is to write or like even how I speak to you guys, I always say like, you know, like when I was saying Manu MUA, like a lot of people might not know who that is. And I write in my diary like for myself. So obviously I know like I'm gonna fill in the blanks in my head, but if my kids read it someday, they're just gonna be like, huh? So I need to get in, um, I need to get in, how do you say? in the groove. I need to get used to writing in a way where my audience doesn't have the background story. Like, like I can't assume that the audience knows. They always said to write that way in school. You know, like I can't just see. Today, me and Pepe went to school. To school. I can't just say that because people will be like, who's Pepe? I have to say, today me and my dog, Pepe, went to school in that way, you know? A lot of people text like that too. Like, oh, did you see my email? And then you're like, what email? What are you talking about? Like, I, that's one of my pet peeves when people ask you things that work like that. And it's like, I literally get like 100 emails per hour so I don't know what you're talking about you're gonna have to explain yourself a little bit more you know and I know people probably take that as me being like abrasive or like a bitch but it's frustrating when you're at work and someone comes at you from left field and is like oh did you take care of that and you're just like take care of what what, what are you talking about like take care of the fact that I have to go pick up milk after work like is that is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of pet peeves, so. so I'll take it with a grain of salt. I'm a very intense person. I'm a Taurus, so I know people are like, astrology's 
for losers and all this stuff, but it's like, I, I don't know if it's a placebo effect kind of thing, but honestly, my sign, like, if you want to know more about me, go look up what a Taurus is and you'll be like, yeah, that's her. It's always been true. I'm so, like, um, intense. But yeah, I don't really have like New Year's resolutions. I just want to get my dog healthy because she's a little overweight. Um, she is a, <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's a Corgi, um, Corgi Chihuahua mix. So she's like really short and you know, corgis tend to be a little bit on the chubbier side. And yeah, so she, um, when I adopted her at the SPCA, they're like, oh, you're adopting the um, fat princess. And I'm like, the fat princess? She didn't look fat when I looked at her. So I was so confused. And I was like, well, I'm adopting the blonde princess. And then they're like, oh yeah, both of them are blonde. So they didn't know what I was talking about. And then she comes out and they're like, oh yeah, that's the fat princess. And I'm like, okay, no, she's, she, when I adopted her, they said she was fat and she was not fat at all. And now I'm like, dude, if they saw her now, she's so cute. Everybody loves her though. And I'm not saying she's not cute. She's adorable. I just don't want her, to, I don't want to have to say goodbye before I absolutely have to. So I want her nice and healthy and we've been working on that. It's been going good. It's been going well. And yeah, that's my that's my hope. For 2020 to get my little dog nice and healthy so she can be around for many 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 years to come. And yeah, make more YouTube videos. <sighs> Definitely invest more in me. I've been reading a lot. I already finished two books this year and we're literally on the 10th day. So I'm so happy. And they're not picture books. So don't even try to crack a joke like that. They're real chapter books. So we're already good, off to a good start. If you want it more curly, you can start from up top more like that. So I'll do, see? So that part looks different than all the rest. I usually just like, it's not that serious for me. like. My hair always seems to just, I like it whichever way it looks like. I don't really worry too much about my hair or my appearance, to be honest. Like, I like getting ready and everything, and I do take pride in, like, the way I look. But I'm not that girl that needs to, like, retouch up all the time. Like, I really don't. I don't want to. I don't want to waste time on that. If you do, you do you. You look perfect all the time um that's great but not me man i wish i had a blotter because like i'm really you know sweaty so yeah i usually well i'll put my hair up like a little bit like that sometimes okay not with this clip but you know what i mean and that makes me look more like a kid like don't i look 19 don't answer that, okay? But, um, do I look my age? Almost 30. That's all I'm gonna say. And I always part my hair in any way. Like, I'll part it down the middle sometimes, but that really makes me feel super old, guys. Like, does it make you feel old? Yeah, it makes me feel old. Not like a Kardashian at all. And sometimes I part it this way, but whatever. And, um... Sometimes I do the little Ariana Grande thing. Like, it used to be the Hilary Duff thing, but now I'm like, Ariana Grande. Because you know how she has, like, her half ponytail and it goes like that or something? 
but I don't know how her like big ass head can like carry it because it's really heavy and she has extensions way longer than mine look at mine they're just like well I don't have extensions at all but she has extensions way longer than my hair and literally I don't know how her neck freaking carries her big head and her, all her hair like this if I put my hair up like that it would be so heavy but low-key I want to get like a pony extension so I can put my hair up and then just have that that long pony that's on my list <laughs> to do but yeah that's how I do my hair I hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for I'm gonna play around with this because I don't want to waste your time like I wasted your time right now watching my little hair tutorial when it was just literally just watching me do my hair because I can't explain it I'm sorry I don't know you just do the curly iron thing flip it around and then pull it um and I just wanted to ramble off and talk to you guys anyways but I do want to see what I come up with with my makeup um palette that one and I still I think I showed this to you guys it was in one of my FabFitFun boxes the pudding one and I've been using it and I honestly I'm so happy that I didn't give it away because I love these colors they're so basic but that's me and um my sister gave me this makeup palette and it's like a build your own makeup thing so these colors this is what i use today before i like put all the the ones i swatched from the lunar palette on my eyelid i use this one today so i have a few i got all of those for christmas well the fabfitfun one yeah i gave it to myself okay but anyways so stay tuned for that next time and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry that i ramble so much but honestly that's just me and i'm glad i got to talk to you guys <laughs> hope you're having a great day have a great weekend and i'll see you next time bye